Let's get this thing going here. What do you say? Okay. You want to? Sure. Let's do it. Here we go. And we're joined now here on Ruskin and Zach to uh, talk about this uh, new transfer that Eric Musselman has landed. Chris likes. We're going to talk about it with Thank Matt Siddell from Kane Sports, part of uh, Rival. Thank, Thank you so much it. for the time. And uh, well, tell us a little bit about uh, Chris Likes, if you would. Yeah. Well, oh, I mean, first of all, what you see with Chris is not what you get because <laughs> he's uh, he's five foot seven and uh, and maybe barely even that, around 160 pounds. So he doesn't look like a bad guy. He'll be walking on your campus. People are going to say, oh, yeah, look at that kid. He's got to be a great basketball player. But he is a great basketball player. Um, you know, I'm going to miss him. I love covering him. I, I covered him here since 2017 and even covered him a little bit when he was in high school, um, you know, from a distance since he was in D.C. But, um, but I mean, he's, he's quick. He's fearless. He's a playmaker. I mean, there's what you get with Chris, you get a, a ton of positives um, in terms of what he brings offensively. He can shoot threes. I mean, basically everything you're looking for in a point guard, he can do it. Um, there are some issues for him with consistency. He tends to fall in love with three pointers a little too much sometimes. Sometimes tends to try to do things too much on his own, uh, which may not be his bigger problem with you guys, but the only year he actually had any real talent playing with him at Miami was his freshman year and he didn't even start that year. Um, you know, that's when Miami, I think, had Bruce Brown, Lonnie Walker, um, uh, Duane Hewell, some, some really good players. And then they left after that year. So he's had to do a little bit too much maybe on his own to the point where you can really see him getting his teammates involved as much as maybe Coach Laranega would have liked. Uh, defense needs some work also. He's really good at times at annoying opposing point guards, especially the bigger guys. You'd think with a small guy like Chris that he'd struggle against some of the taller point guards in the ACC, and that really wasn't the case that much on defense except when they shoot threes over him. They couldn't really drive on him. He'd give them a lot of problems when he pressed up on them. He would draw offensive charges regularly, uh, which would really get inside their heads sometimes. Um, and, um, you know, he flies all over the court. I mean, there's, there's a lot to like. And, and if they put him in the right direction in your program, you know, he's going to be really, really, really good, and your fans are going to love him. He was a preseason ACC pick, which in itself is is noteworthy. That's, it's not like you're, you know, in the, the MAC or something like that. It's, it's a really, really good league. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about him sort of off the court. Musselman, is, Musselman ain't easy to work for. He's Musselman, will, I mean, he drives guys. It's like working in dog years over there. I mean, is this a guy that that's, that fans are just going to love right away, or is this a guy that's going to take some getting used to, um, at least on the Eric Musselman front? Yeah, well, I mean, that's a great question. So so on the court, fans are definitely going to love him. I mean, he they can relate to him. He's small like the fans are, <laughs> and and he plays relentlessly. I mean, you see him lay it out, uh, all out, you know, plays his floor, has issues with injuries. Just this past season when he had a mysterious ankle injury, he kept trying to come back from him and couldn't. The year before, he also had injuries. He played through them at times, wasn't real good playing through them, missed games. So really for two years now, he's been injury plagued. So, you know, he's got that little, you know, that little brittle tag he's got to get rid of this year. Um, we'll, we'll get to the coaching part in a minute, but I also want to mention, you know, this is his year. Like he wanted to go to the NBA and then realized he wasn't going to be able to be drafted. I mean, he's got too many, you know, issues right now with injuries and, and, and his height. Um, which is why he decided to come back and play in college another year. Uh, but, you know, but with that said, there, there were some, you know, some personality issues at Miami. There were, there were some issues. You know, Coach L is an old school coach, you know. He's, he, he doesn't put up with stuff either. Um, you know, this is Chris Likes' one year to prove himself and try to get, you know, realistically into the second round of the NBA. I don't think he'll be a first round pick at 5'7. But, um, but this is his year. He's just got to put his head down, do whatever the coach asks. There were times at Miami, from what we've heard, that wasn't the case. Um, and I, we actually even heard, and we, we actually wrote about this on our, on our message boards, that, um, you know, from what we heard is that he decided to go pro, told Coach L that he was leaving. Coach L said, okay, you know, good luck. We'll help you out however you need. Um, but they had had some issues before that. And then when Chris realized, you know, he wanted to come back, and he's had some advisors who were trying to help him along in the process, and you know how that goes, uh, you know, Coach L said, you know what, you might be better off finding a different program. So, I mean, it's not like they fought for him to come back, which sounds crazy, because, I mean, this kid is the real deal. Like, He's a great point guard. He's a great player, and he was first team preseason All ACC, not just you know a second team pick. I mean, he's one of the best returning. He would have been one of the best returning point guards in the ACC, if not the best returning point guard in the ACC. Um, so you know so that says something to the, to the fact that he really does have to buckle down, listen to what coaches say, do whatever it takes, get players involved, you know, really, really get um, zeroed in on what he has to get done. Talking with Matt Shodell from uh, Kane Sports, uh, the uh, rival site covering Miami. Talking Chris Likes here on Ruskin and Zach. Um, 
How any idea how the health is now uh, as he um, departs? And um, did they give any updates during the season on how rehab was going, stuff like that? Yeah, well, all, the last we heard on his health was he kept trying to come back towards the end of the season. There were two different instances where he was cleared to return to practice and then after that to return to games, but he just couldn't have practices. I think there was one point maybe with two weeks to go in the regular season, he practiced two days in a row and the ankle just blew up again. And, you know, I don't know if that's a, an issue with Chris, uh, an issue with how Miami was trying to treat him. You know, I heard there was a couple of different diagnoses and diagnoses, and maybe they weren't quite sure what was going on with him. It might have been a multiple issue. Um, I, I can assure you that, <laughs> that by the time, you know, August rolls around, I can't imagine that an ankle sprain, there was no break. It, it's just a, a weird sprain that's taken forever to heal. I can't imagine that he won't be 100% full go, you know, by the time you guys need him to start practicing and working out with the team. As, when you project him, obviously he's played at the highest level in the ACC. The SEC is a little bit different. It's a, it's kind of a physical league. The ACC's got all the high flyers. The, the SEC's you know going to knock you down underneath the basket. Is he going to be able to hold up over thirty plus games and get into the tournament? Because this team is is set. Arkansas's team is set to go to the tournament next year. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I mean your team and you had another great transfer from Pitt. I mean the issue with Chris and again. It's, I, I, I understand you think the ACC is not physical. When it came to Chris Likes, the ACC was physical. You watch his highlights, and it's not just Chris Likes shooting three pointers. He's running into six foot eight, two hundred fifty pound guys, and being knocked on the ground and throwing up, you know, circus shots as he's being fouled. And sometimes they're going in. I mean, they were not gentle with Chris Likes <laughs> in the ACC at all. And I expect it'll be the same here because he he flies around. He goes full speed. He does not. Um, he does not try to protect his body, which is, I mean, it, it, I don't know the answer to whether he can hold up. He hasn't held up at Miami the last two yep. years. I, my inclination, if I had to literally bet the house on it, is that he's not going to start every single game this coming season. It's just not how he plays. Um, you know, his style is just to, to go right at guys and, and go 100, 100 miles an hour, and he's going to get hit, and he's going to be on the floor. He's had pre-existing injuries. I mean, if they can get him healthy enough to where he can play three quarters of the game at full speed, I think that would be a victory. Well, it sounds like, and I'm not making the comparison, but it sounds a little bit like the way someone else used to play down in Miami, and that would be uh, Dwayne Wade. You know, go all out, 100 <laughs> miles an hour, and then also the other side of that, he got hurt a lot, uh, a lot of wear and tear. Yeah, well, I mean, that look, they're two totally different bodies. But, yeah, I mean, the, the point's well taken that that's how he plays. He goes into guys. He doesn't like – like, if there's a six foot eight guy moving into his way in the lane, Chris Likes is not going to stop and shoot a pull-up floater over the guy. He's going to run into the guy, draw the contact, and then try to hit and, and make a three-point play. Like, that's just how he plays. Um, you know, fans love it. It, it. It's a nice physical – Style, but at the same time, you know, you are getting bumps and bruises, and uh, and it remains a, a major question mark. You know, can he stay healthy? All right. Well, it's a good breakdown. Uh, we appreciate it. Matt Shodell, a Kane Sports, with us here on Ruskin and Zach, talking about this uh, transfer from Miami. Chris Likes joining uh, the Must Bus in Fayetteville. Thank you so much, Matt. We really appreciate it. Of course, anytime. All right. There you go. That's Shodell breaking it down for us from Rivals here on uh, Ruskin and Zach.